everybody was losing their minds about that forecast. I mean, the way that storm looks since I've been watching the models, I've never seen anything like that in, the, in our Hawaii window. And it was big and stormy and the, the swell was coming up. It was already huge. Um, you know, there was waves that were closing out the bay and it was just a real wild day out there for sure. Bigger sets kept coming further into the evening. So uh, we were just hunting them down. The vibe was really unusual for, for um, Waimea. Usually when you go to Waimea, there's 60, 80 guys and everybody wants the sets. That day it was like 15 guys and three guys wanted the sets. Yeah, that was the biggest day I've ever had at Waimea. Well, that wave we could see from, from when it was like two or three minutes away from breaking, we could see the wave coming in. Everybody's screaming on the beach and yelling and stuff. And um, when the wave finally came in, it was so big. And I remember me and Healy were the only people who were kind of in position to kind of paddle for it. Everyone else had paddled way out to sea. When this wave is coming in, it, it doesn't look right. It doesn't make sense. It's just this giant black wall of water that is just going across the bay. It just, the thing was a monster. And uh, we both put our heads down and started paddling and just somehow we both caught it. And um, I was going no matter what. If that wave was catchable, <laughs> I was in the right spot I was going. And I know Mark felt the same way. I had my mind made up. I was going no matter what. Even if I was getting caught inside, had to bail. If I had to put myself in the lip and get tossed, I, I was totally committed to catching one of these waves. And it was just fun, like the party wave, a wave of that size. And it was a, for sure the biggest wave I've ever paddled into somehow made it to the bottom of this thing. It felt like it, I took two drops. It took forever. And that's when I noticed Shane when I was at the bottom. Came shooting out, felt like I was going 100 miles per hour over these chops and like felt like boils and stuff. And I look over and I'm like, who's this crazy man? <laughs> Somebody else went on this way? Jeez. <laughs> we both made the drop and kind of rode it out. And then instead of being able to kick out, the wave started just closing out down the line. Um, so we both kind of straightened out and got mowed down by the white water, but and we both popped up just like maybe like 10 yards away from each other. And, and I was like, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, are you okay? And then we're like, woo, woo, you know, celebration time.